Time for some fun. All right, we're gonna build some upper endurance. So, so chin ups or pull ups or from the front and then really get the back really good. Chin ups also come in and they incorporate the biceps here and you get some shoulder up and everything actually with both of them too. So we're gonna get in there. We're gonna do a hold first, okay? So we're gonna hold it up as much as you can. And then we're going to, after we get the hold done, we're going to turn around and do how many chin-ups can we do in five minutes. And after doing the chin-ups, we're going to do another hold and see if we can hold it for half the time that we did the first hold. Okay? That's going to be the challenging part right there because you're going to be tired from the chin-ups. So what can you do? i got in my head what my goal is. We'll see if I can do it or not. Is my strength getting back from being sick or not? Huh? We're just going to, no excuses. You're going to pull yourself through. So when we get there, and then we'll talk it out, okay? So three, two, one. Pull it up. Pull it up there. So you're holding it on up there. You're just hanging out, right? We're just hanging out. So this morning was combat cardio. That was really fun to get into. So we got that done, and now we're doing this. So one thing with the chin-ups is um got the goal to get at least a minute and a half every time i do them when i do the first hold that is at least um this time i'm trying to go a little bit longer we'll see if i make it or not but um you're in there and you're holding it and your endurance your right hair your upper body is all activated holding yourself up there nice and tight lower body sometimes i go for a little walk in the air but otherwise just hold it still you can tighten it all up you can just kind of hang out but keep it up there. Don't let it go. After this, we get an upper body drop set. But it's, my drop set's a little bit different this week. It's more of dropping the weights than it is dropping this, this the one move. Monday was more of a drop set style than this other ones are. And then we have some side oblique work today. Either hanging or you can do them hanging. You can do them elevated. You can do them on the mat. Different ones, different moves. My body is starting to shake. My grip, come on. Keep it up there. Keep it going. Not even do a minute and a half yet. Almost, but not there yet. Keep the focus. Don't give in. Keep that grip. If my grip one's one that, that's where I have the problem with more than anything is the grip. I'm like, I don't want to lose the grip. That would make me fall. Come on, over a minute and a half. Ah, oh, do. Oh, all right. A minute and 43 before I was like, I'm gonna fall if I don't come down. I wanted a minute and 45, so I almost made it. Right now it's just a minute and 45, but I know that was coming down out of it too. So it doesn't count. Minute and 43 is when I started to lower. I was like, okay, that's it. I'm slipping. Uh, so not quite. It's longer than what I did last time, I believe. No, but not quite where I wanted to be. But you hold up there. Perfect score. You will before the women in the Marines now do pull-ups, just like the men do. But before they used to just have to do the chin-up hold or the pull-up hold. Perfect score was a minute and a half. So that's why I'm always trying to get at least a minute and a half, if not more for that. Okay, so let's do a little stretch, then we're gonna get into some chin-ups. All right, I'll turn this over so it's a little bit more stable. I don't bump it. My arms are like, ah, pull back there, stretch out the back there. Other arm. All right, so normally I can do a few of these in a row. Now my arms are like, what are you talking about? You're toast, lady. Okay, I mean, it's not gonna be a full five minutes of chin ups because that whole, <laughs> I'm a little bit overlapped with all my time now. Okay, ready? Let's do this. Three, two, one, hang down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, down. Supposed to try to extend as much as possible. Sometimes I don't extend as much as I should. 
but it's all if you're working on progressing on what you can do and getting them in there all the time short break we're gonna get right back into it again stretch out those arms come on like right here from that hold it's all tight all right three two one let's go one two three four down all right now you can be doing these with an assistant like the band underneath your foot you could be doing them also like i say with the pull down bands on the door you can be this way for pull down pull up this way for chin ups with bands and hold the bands this way for pull ups you could also do them on the floor with like a dip bar pulling yourself up those work too different levels different ways of getting them in work your way up to actual hanging on the pull up bar to do them you go through different levels to get to it all right maybe one day i'll get my band back up there and we'll do all the different levels okay three two one let's do it one two three four down All right, that's 16. We gotta do one more set of four at least to get to 20, right? So we can do 20 chin ups. Now, before, there's a couple of them in there where I actually did how many can you do in five minutes? I think I got up to like 40 some odd. Three, two, one, drop it. One, two, pull yourself up, come on. You think you can do it? Do it anyways. That's three. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, so I'm gonna end up doing another set of three because I gotta land on an even number for my brain. And I don't wanna just do one. So two would make me an odd number. So three puts me at 22. I can deal with that. All right. Three, two, one. Drop it down. One, two, three, down. Okay, we got that hold still. Hold into it. Stretch it out. This little thing is handy. You can do dip bar moves. You can hold onto this here. You can turn around over here and actually do dips. Can do a little construction. Don't use it as much in my videos because I have to change the camera over here and it's too hard to go back and forth to the mat to this. So it's only really specific specifically for this. Then I get my other dip bars out. All right. Are we ready for this hang? It's time to turn this over. It's time to get that clock ready. Okay, reset. Half of a minute and 45 seconds, 43 seconds actually, is gonna be a minute and 45. What is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? The same as saying 103 seconds, right? So we gotta hold it for no less than 50, I'm gonna say two seconds, okay? Can we hold this for 52 seconds? That's a little bit, actually, yeah. 52 seconds, can we do this? Let's try. Grab a hold. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hi there, how are you? Did you get your pull-ups in? Did you get your chin-ups in? Did you get your chin done? Yeah, chit chat Get that grip on there. Come on, don't let it slip. Keep it up there. We got this. Kind of looking around, going, I need to 
I really want to get rid of this popcorn ceiling. I do not like it at all. But it is what it is. Come on. Oh, can I get my trend? No. Almost there. For seconds. You shut yourself in there. You push yourself. You don't give in when you want to give in. You push yourself a little bit further. I use the pull ups to remind myself, or the chin ups to remind myself that I can pull through anything through the week that anything that's thrown at you, you can pull yourself through it. I use the pull ups at the beginning of the week to know that I will get through everything. Midweek, chin ups, reminder, you still got this. Beginning of the week, pull-ups, telling yourself you have this week. That's where I use the different things. Whew. Now, I get the upper body drop set. My upper body's like shaky, but it is what it is. Tell me, what do you think of these? I do some twisting ones next week. I'm going to add in the twisting pull-ups into the next week again. Don't know. But I like adding in the holds mixed in with the pull-ups because it just works it. Endurance, just holding onto it at a different level. So this one here is checked off and boom, done.